Are you ready to renovate your bathroom and you're gonna put tile down? I wanna encourage you to use this product from Schluter. The product is, I'm gonna show it to you. This is the product, it's pretty awesome. It doesn't require you to use a cement board underneath the tile. This is your underlayment and it goes directly on wood or concrete. And so I have spent the time to cut this out to do a test fit. And all that it takes is a razor blade, scissors I have it all in place and everything cut out so now I am going to install this and I'm using the Schluter thin set I think that's what it's called I'll show you a picture of it right now. Um, I'm using this to install this down and I'm using the Schluter video that they have on YouTube. So I'll link to that up above, but this is me installing it for the first time. I just kind of want to show you how it's going and talk about the ease of it and the issues. Um, so far, with the floor itself, just cutting this out to put it down and get it into place. The biggest issue was the length on how long my room is and all the angles. Um, when I used Schluter downstairs in my basement, I did it for the shower and I had all the floor space down in the basement that I could cut on, but I can't cut out in the hallway because it's finished flooring. So I had to cut it in this space and that made it a little tight. That was the only issue I found. Super easy to cut with a razor blade or scissors. Scissors were a little more difficult than the razor blade, but still worked. So let's get, in, get into installing this. And we're just following the instructions on the back. So I am doing half of a bag, so that's 25 pounds and I did half the water. And so I have those both similar in those buckets. And so we're gonna just mix them together and see how it goes. I wanna quickly note why I only did half of a bag. And that was because if you use more than half of a bag, you could overheat your regular drill. You'd need a special drill for it. And also I didn't need that much thin set to do this project. After your thin set is all mixed according to the instructions, you will want to wet the area with a damp cloth or sponge. After that, you can apply the thin set to the area with the trowel. And in this case, I'm using a trowel that is three and sixteenth by one and a fourth. I use the tape knife to get around the edges. That way I could try not to get the walls as much as possible. And then I use the trowel to put the grooves in the areas. After the full surface was covered, I put the floor membrane down into the area. After you get the membrane set into place, you're gonna use a rubber trowel to press it into the surface of the floor. And this is just to get out any bubbles, any excess thin set, 
And I forgot to show you that you want to make sure that you have a full coverage underneath this by lifting up a corner and making sure that it looks like everything has hit the bottom and had some sort of contact with the surface. And then after that, you'll put it back down and press it back down with the flow again. Then you can just move on to all the other areas that you have to put this membrane down. If you happen to have a seam like I do, you do need to apply a thin layer of this tape. I can't remember what it's called, but it will be linked below. And you'll just apply it the same way where you're just sealing it up and putting it on with a trowel and then using a tape knife to smooth the edges and remove any excess of the thin set. And then after that, you'll also want to put this Schluter Curdy Fix, which will give you a waterproof finish next to the bathtub. And then after you have applied a good bead around the bathtub as well, you are going to put that tape in that area as well. It's actually recommended that this tape goes up the walls as well. I didn't have enough of it to go up all the walls, so I just did the area where the toilet will be and the sink. So just keep that in mind when you are buying this, you might need some extra if you want to do your whole bathroom. If you happen to get any thin set on the wall, just use a damp sponge to wipe it off. And here is what it looks like after it's all installed and dried. And you're probably wondering, would I recommend this? Personally, I thought it was so much easier than cement board. And so, and the reason why it was easier is because it's easier to cut. So I would recommend it. And if you're curious, you are ready now for tile. And as you can see, I use Schluter too for my bathtub, but here is my bathroom completely finished. You can find all the videos on this project of the bathroom renovation in my YouTube channel. So be sure to check those out.